Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out MOP Operation Completely Busted. This game's broken. I'm more than willing to show you why, but let's actually give it a tiny bit of a fair shake first. Game's got loading screens. Quite long ones in fact, for a very simple game. But anyway, here we are in the zone selection screen. There's five of them, they've each got ten levels. I'm gonna go to zone one, and I'm gonna go roughly to mission, uh, we'll say eight, why not? But the idea is that every mission has a bunch of objectives, a lot like your typical mobile game, and you have to... You have to try... God, the menu's just freaking out. Like, this game's got terrible performance, even on the menus. It just lags. But anyway, you just got missions, and these have objectives, and the objectives will become very simple and obvious once we actually get into the game. So away we go. Mop is a one button platformer. It does gain a second button later on, but I haven't unlocked that ability yet. So here's the drill. You, your only button is the jump button and you're always pretty much constantly walking to the... I hate the jump timing on this. It's such a pain in the ass, mainly because it seems that you can't jump for a specific amount of time after you've landed on an edge. It's infuriating. But yeah, for the most part, unless something actively gets you to go to the left, you're constantly moving to the right. And you've got a jump, a double jump, and you've also got slopes that you can slide down if you time it properly. So it's sort of kinda like Oli Oli if Oli Oli sucked eggs. And the idea is you've got to take out as many enemies as possible and collect as much trash as possible on the way to the end of the level. And these individual objectives are tracked, like, separately, so you don't have to do them all in one run. It's a very dull, very boring game, if you want me to be perfectly honest. Oddly enough, they bring up that little menu page there, like that little thing there. That's a page from the manual. And for some reason, they bring it up here despite the fact that you can read the manual in its entirety normally just by going through the menu, but nevertheless. Game's terrible performance is showing up a little bit here, but it gets worse. There's a power up, up there that lets you basically take zero damage for a little bit, but I've gone and missed it, so I won't be getting that. You have three hits, and if you take three hits, as you can see, you're dead. Also of note, if you, um, fall into a pit of slime, or whatever the bloody hell they want to call it, you're also dead. So, you know, not, not a great situation to be in. Annoyingly enough, this shield power up doesn't last to the fourth enemy, so you have to jump on them. It's kind of annoying. There's also a magnet power up there, and there's a third kind of power up, which I do not remember. Game's mainly focused around things like wall jumping, and it's just... Honestly, it feels like a mobile game. And... Shit. And it's entirely... It's actually kind of fairly priced. I mean, it's two bucks, and it doesn't actually have any Android release, so I can't compare it to, to that. But then again, it's normal price is like five dollars, so that's actually kind of shit, honestly. For this... That's really shit. There is a problem with it that I really do want to show off though, and I will do that as soon as I'm done with this level. However, this level really does show off some of the most annoying timing that you have to do to get through that gap, but thankfully I've already spent five minutes trying to get through that gap, so I kind of know the timing. But anyway, let's go back to the main menu and go to zone two, because zone two is, it's ridiculous. Let's just tap the menu button there. I hate these games. There's there's so many of these, like, it's not even a mobile port, but it's a game that you could realistically play on a mobile, where it literally only uses one button. You barely have to use the D-pad or the shoulder buttons or anything like that. But anyway, let's play Mission 3. When the game decides it wants to load, because it's a slow loader. Frame rate's a tiny bit better. But, there is a problem. Can you see the problem? It is right in front of your face. It truly is. If you can't, allow me to play footage of... Shit. If you can't, allow me to play footage of this level that I pulled from YouTube of the PlayStation 4 version. Yeah. The buildings are fucking invisible. <laughs> Quality control does not exist on the Vita anymore, does it? I'm I'm thoroughly convinced that it doesn't. It's just not here. I mean, 
It took me 20 minutes to get to this point. This is about 20 minutes worth of gameplay, and I can see purely... Son of a bitch. And I can see purely that the game has a very obvious bug. I'm not even talking about, like, the game's terrible performance on some stages, or the fact that it looks like a pile of tits sometimes with the V-Sync tearing, but it's... It's insane how I can play this game for 20 minutes and see a problem that QA obviously didn't do. I'm thoroughly convinced Vita doesn't even have a division in Sony anymore. It's just Geo Corsi sitting by himself in the corner and just checking his email every five minutes hoping that someone wants to put their game on the Vita no matter how buggy or pointless or boring it is. It's insane just how bad this sort of issue is. Like, there's a wall here! Apparently there's a wall here. I can't even see it. I didn't even see myself hopping into that thing. This is just so poorly done. How does... How do you even develop this game and not notice that? Like, honestly. How do you develop this game and the PlayStation 4 version and all the other versions that are coming out, apparently and not notice that this is a problem. Uh, no, I didn't want to go back to Zone 1. I want to go to Zone 2, and I think I'll go to Mission 2, I guess? It's just... I'm amazed. I'm stunned at how badly they fucked this up. It's a boring game, but it's so boring they didn't even bother to QR test it. Look, there's a wall in front of me! There's just, there's a wall there, and I can't see it. Like, see, it's another one of these buildings, but... Can't see it. Can only see very, very... Minor parts of it. How did that even hurt me? What the shit? Okay, like... Why? Should you buy Mop Operation Cleanup? No, you fucking shouldn't. Jesus Christ. What was the last game on Vita that was this badly broken? Chronovol? Probably Chronovol. Okay, apparently they attack you if you get within a certain range. It's... Jesus Christ. Like, look at this. Look at this. How, how are you supposed to tell what you're meant to do here? What a piece of garbage. What a piece of garbage. I mean, I know the Vita doesn't have that much RAM, especially compared to most devices these days, but literally not showing pieces of the graphics is kind of ridiculous, guys. Sort your shit out. God almighty. You know what the worst thing is? If you screw up an objective, there's no quick restart button. So like, if you screw it up, and you have to play through the entire level again, you either have to hit start and then restart the level, or you have to die and restart the level. There's no quick restart button, which would actually be extremely helpful. This game's a piece of shit and you shouldn't buy it. This has been Blue Maxima, and I will see you all next time.